subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is glycolysis glycolysis also known as emp pathway that is upon the name of the discoverers that is emden meyerhof Parna's pathway. Now, EMP pathway or glycolysis is a common pathway for both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. During this process, a molecule of glucose gets converted into two molecules of pyruvic acid. Now, this process occurs in the cytoplasm. During this process, there is no direct use of oxygen and this process is also known as oxidative anabolism. The first step of glycolysis is phosphorylation. Phosphorylation takes place with the help of ATP. Glucose reacts with ATP to form glucose 6 phosphate. Now, wherever ATP is being formed or is being utilized, the name of the enzyme is always kinase along with the name of the substrate. Now, since glucose is a hexose sugar, the enzyme here is hexokinase. Glucose 6-phosphate then get converted into its isomer, that is fructose 6-phosphate. The enzyme used here is isomerase. Then comes another phosphorylation step. This too occurs with the help of ATP. Fructose 6-phosphate reacts with another molecule of ATP. to form fructose 1,6-diphosphate. Now, as ATP is used here, the name of the enzyme is kinase along with the name of the substrate. So, the enzyme is phosphofructokinase. Now, the next step is fructose 1,6-diphosphate breaks down or undergoes lysis to form a molecule of glycerol aldehyde 3-phosphate. And its isomer, that is dihydroxyacetone phosphate. The enzyme used here is aldolase. 
Now since glycerol aldehyde, three phosphate and dihydroxy acetone phosphate are both isomers, dihydroxy acetone phosphate convert, gets converted into glycerol aldehyde three phosphate. Hence, two molecules of glycerol aldehyde three phosphate are formed. In the next step, glycerol aldehyde three phosphate reduces NAD and itself get converted into 1,3-diphosphoglyceric acid. Glycerol aldehyde 3-phosphate reacts with phosphoric acid in the process reduces NAD to NADH and itself changes into two molecules of 1,3-diphosphoglyceric acid or you can say biphosphoglyceric acid. Now, wherever NADH is being used or is being formed, the name of the enzyme is dehydrogenase along with the name of the substrate. So, the enzyme here is glycerol aldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. Now, the next step is also known as substrate level phosphorylation. As in this step, ATP is formed. 1,3-diphosphoglyceric acid is a high energy compound. It reacts with ADP to form ATP and itself gets converted into two molecules of 3-phosphoglyceric acid. Now as during this process ATP is formed, so this the enzyme here is known as phosphoglycerate Phosphoglycerokinase. Three phosphoglyceric acid then gets converted into its isomer, that is, two phosphoglyceric acid. Now, since there is a change in the position of phosphate group, the enzyme used here is mutase. Next step is dehydration. Two phosphoglyceric acid then loses water and changes into two molecules of phosphoenol pyruvate. That is PEP and the enzyme here is enolase. Enol from phosphoenol pyruvate, enolase. The last step of glycolysis is again substrate level phosphorylation. Means in this reaction ATP is produced. Phosphoenol pyruvate is a high energy compound which reacts with ADP to form ATP and itself changes into two molecules of pyruvic acid. Now as ATP is being formed, the name of the enzyme is kinase 
So the enzyme is phosphoenol pyruvate kinase. So during glycolysis or glycolysis occurs in 10 steps. During glycolysis there are two substrate level phosphorylation. Due to which 4 ATP are formed. While 2 ATP are used, 1 to convert glucose into glucose 6-phosphate and the other one to convert fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-diphosphate. So the net gain of ATP is just 2 ATP. During glycolysis, two molecules of NADH are also formed. Now when NADH is passed through the electron transport chain or oxidative phosphorylation, it can give rise to 2 into 3, that is 6 ATP. So during glycolysis in total, 8 ATP can be formed. The mnemonic to remember the steps of glycolysis is goodness gracious. Father Franklin did go by picking pumpkins to prepare pies. Goodness is for glucose, gracious glucose 3,6-phosphate, father is for fructose 6-phosphate, Franklin is for fructose 1,6-diphosphate, did is for dihydroxy acetone phosphate, go is for glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate, bi is for 1,3 diphospho or biphospho glyceric acid, p is for 2 phosphoglyceric, sorry 3 phosphoglyceric acid, pumpkin is for 2 phosphoglyceric acid, 2 is for nothing. Prepare P is for phosphoenol pyruvate and pi is for pyruvic acid. So goodness gracious father Franklin did go by picking pumpkin to prepare pies. Glucose, glucose 6-phosphate, fructose 6-phosphate, fructose 1,6-diphosphate, dihydroxyacetone phosphate, glycerol aldehyde 3-phosphate, 1,3-biphosphoglyceric acid, 3-phosphoglyceric acid, 2-phosphoglyceric acid, phosphoenol pyruvate and pyruvic acid. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.